TV pundits, give them credit, know a lot. So if you have a question like this, they know a lot about Israeli politics, right? They know a lot about Yasser Arafat and Ariel Sharon and the Intifada and Mossad. They know a lot about all these things. And if they need more information, they'll go and they'll gather that information. And you ask them this question, they will stroke their chins and look sagely and think for a moment about various things and out will come an answer. Is that a good method? Well, at this point, I wish I had a video clip of TV pundits talking about the question, did Israel poison Yasser Arafat? I do not. However, I have a video clip which is entirely typical of the species at work. It's uh, from 2008, it's the McLaughlin Group. John McCain has just won the, the uh, Republican nomination for the, presidential, for, for the presidency, and he's about to announce his uh, vice presidential pick. Okay, and we all know what the answer is, Sarah Palin. Okay, how did the TV pundits do? Post prediction, whom will McCain pick as his running mate? Mitt Romney. Uh, Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty. Charlie Chris, Florida <laughs> Governor. Condoleezza Rice. Buchanan and Wright, it will be Mitt Romney. Happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I, I love John McLaughlin, I really do. <laughs> um, this is a really terrible method of making a forecast. Vaguely pondering information is not a good way of making forecasts. Now, this is not a terribly scientific demonstration. However, the best research ever done on expert forecasting was done by my co-author on the book Super Forecasting, uh, a very eminent psychologist named Philip Tetlock. And he came to the conclusion that, guess what? The average expert was really, really bad. Okay, so this is not a good method. But you might be thinking, wait a second, maybe the most, what about the most prominent experts? What about the most famous experts? Surely there must be some sort of advancement based on accuracy. In fact, in Phil Tetlock's data, he found an inverse correlation between fame and accuracy. Think about that. It's pretty amazing. Think about that. Let, that. let that sink in. So the TV pundit method is a terrible way of making accurate forecasts, but it is an excellent method of making entertaining forecasts. And so I'm just going to give you one more. It has nothing whatsoever to do with this talk, but I have to show it to you because it's great. It's 2013. It's Chris Matthews telling us who will win the Republican nomination for the presidency in 2016. I predict the hard right is going to take over the Republican Party in 2016, and the nomination is going to Rand Paul. You watch. This is what I do for a living. <laughs> it's just a killer punchline. Uh, although, to be fair, it could still happen. <laughs>